Hi, it's Ginger Bratzel of New Patient Traction Automation, and we're continuing our series on the six C's of living the best life you can, growing your practice, and getting all you can out of what you, you've invested your time and effort in. And the C we're going to work on today for your practice is congruence. You know, how to be consistent in that message across. What are you, you, you um, telling people? What are you letting people know? Um, I talk to a lot of practices. I talked about uh, to a lot of great doctors who want to grow their practice and, and uh, get more out of it. And we'll talk about you know, what they're doing right in their practice and all the wonderful things. I'll meet them. We'll talk on the phone. And then I'll go to call them you know, to schedule an appointment or I need to ask a question or there was something in the um, piece of information that's supposed to follow up with them. We have an appointment time and I'll call them at their office where they told me to call them. And they're talking about how great their practice is and they want to grow it. And then the first thing is when they, they have people who are answering the phone that don't possess the phone skills. Or they might have the skills but they're so busy because the front office is disorganized and they don't have systems in place that they're not as nice as they need to be and they're talking about how great their practice is and how personal it is. And then the first thing I, you know, the first interaction a patient would have is the, the phone call. So, you know, they put this, they'll show me this wonderful marketing, they want affluent patients, they want this, they want that. But that message is not congruent across because that's, you know, I call the office and the peripheral don't even know about it. If I do a blind call, they don't even know about the marketing piece. They don't even know they do that procedure. They'll tell me to hold on and they'll transfer me to someone else so they, uh, there's a long pause. And now if I was a patient on the other side of the phone listening to that long pause, that just tells me they don't really know what they're talking about or somebody on, is not on step. So making sure you're congruent across in your message. Or, you know, uh, when I'll go in and I'll visit them in their office, they'll talk about what the quality patients they want, and they're such a great practice, and, and they're doing affluent practice, you know, patients again, and I will see pictures, or I'll go to their website, or I'll actually visit their office, and their office is not an affluent type practice. It is not clean. It's not organized. There's outdated magazines. Um, the staff is wearing scrubs that don't match, and or, um, they, they look wrinkled. I mean, that doesn't say that message. Not, I mean, I'm not criticizing them for that, but if you're saying you're doing one thing, you need to be consistent about that in your message. It, you know, so make sure you have that in there. If, if you, you say you're a caring practice in your, your marketing, and I hope every practice is a caring practice. I assume that. And when I was a pa as a patient and as a dental uh, advisor and coach, everyone, that's like, yeah, I hope so. Who wants to go to an uncaring practice? But then I don't get that treatment from the staff or the office doesn't feel comfortable. It's not in a caring environment. That's not congruent in their message. So take time and understand what you want to do first, who your target practice is, patient is, how your practice is going to run, and make sure that message is congruent. Um, make sure the operatories are clean and, and tidy. Make sure they, things are not outdated in the back as there are dust bunnies all over and there's spider webs up there. You know, don't break your congruence in your message because a lot of times we can get you a lot of new patients, but you're not gonna, they don't accept treatment because they're not getting the congruence in their message on the other side. It's not because the patient wasn't right. It's not because the message was right for the patient. So keep that in mind as you're going through and developing everything because your practice is a whole system. It's not an isolated vacuum. Your marketing can't do all the lifting if the practice is not doing it on the back hand. So just keep that in mind, and I appreciate that. If you want to get more information about how to get all the patients you need for your practice, how to live the life you want to, and be able to set up your practice to do that, I invite you to email me at results of Ginger Bratzel to set up a get acquainted call, and we can talk about that. My team will schedule that for you. But until then, take care and bye bye.